Now this is our daughter's closet. As you can see, the room is still very empty because it's still a work in progress as our daughter is still sleeping with us. So, you know, if she were to go to her own room, then we will be able to, you know, show you the entire room much proper. But for now, we are going to just focus on the closet. We used to put all her clothes in this closet. Uh, as you can see, this is a three doors closet. But, um, and we... Well, before that, we want to shout out to our friend, actually our friend Ken and my husband Actually, they set it up, the, this entire closet, and they took two hours So we shout out to Ken for helping us So she used to use this closet, but you know, as she turns uh, about the age of two She wanted to get dressed herself So I uh, use this uh, cube shelf in order to create a closet system or a wardrobe system That would be easy, you know, for her to access because it's not high up that she cannot access. So this is uh, actually basically these are two cube shelf. Uh, it was originally I think my husband's uh, cube shelf. So we made use of the cube shelf in order to create a system for her. One of the things that we realized that our daughter she has come to the age that she doesn't want to be told what to wear. So we allow her to choose her own t-shirt or shorts or even dresses. So she can easily go through all her dresses that she wants and she can actually you know, she even have a mirror here and she can check herself out after she has worn the clothes. So she has come to the age, you know, she will decide on her own what she wants to wear. Now, I also got this extension rod from Daiso. Now, this is very, very good in creating a system. Now, my daughter is, uh, she is about 98 to 99 centimeters. So this is of a great height for her to actually take what she wants to wear, take it out easily and put it back easily as well. Now, if you do not have enough space, one way to create more space is by using two tier shelf or a stackable bin. Like in this case, I bought this from Mr. DIY. So I stack her undies and also her long pants here together. Now I'm going to show you what's in her IKEA uh, cupboard. Now this is in her cupboard. Now basically, this is all her jackets. Now, uh, what we put in her IKEA cupboard would be clothes that she don't really wear. Like for example, jackets, you know. Jackets she don't really wear every single day because we live in Malaysia, the weather is hotter, therefore we don't really use jackets a lot. Okay, so we put the jackets here. And also for her long sleeve uh, shirt, that we also put it here. Her long sleeve sleeve dresses, we also put it here. And this is her occasional wear, you know. Like, uh, my daughter doesn't like to wear anything that is too fancy. So all the fancy clothes are all here. We also put her pajamas and also her swimwear. Now, one way to allow you to uh, get the hanger easily is by putting all your unused hangers on one side so that it's easy for you to take. I would also encourage you to limit the numbers of hanger. Therefore, you will not buy, be buying so many clothes because now you'll be saying, oh, I only have four hangers left. Therefore, I can't be buying any more new clothes because we still have clothes there that, that are unwashed in the laundry room. Now, uh, here we also put some other beans. Sorry. Um, this would be her books. Now, these are these are beans that I used to put the books that she is not able to read yet because it's a little bit too difficult for her. But I want to remember to let her to read. And this would be a bean for her to keep. Now, basically, there are some clothes because she's at the age whereby she's growing so fast. Therefore, there are a lot of clothes that she can't wear. Maybe in the month of one to two months, there are certain t-shirts or shorts she can no longer fit. So what I will do instead of going to, you know, I have I have a system whereby I, I actually store all my old clothes. Now instead of going there, what I will do is I'll put a bin here and let's say she like for example she's not able to wear this. This is a really really nice jumper. She's no she is no longer able to fit in this jumper. So I, I don't even fold it, I just put it inside to keep for, to keep bin so that I remember to keep it for her future sibling. Now this is um, a bin whereby I actually store clothes that are still too big. Now these are actually from her cousin. So I put it here because I want to remind myself actually she still has a lot of clothes. So preventing us from buying her anything new. Now um, this would be her pampers that she used at night. And then at the bottom there, this is where I actually store uh, some packaging that I think is useful. 
So do not throw, especially now the pillow packaging, do not throw them away because they are very useful. On the side, this is where I put the socks. Now I put the socks in this uh, using a uh, over the door uh, hanging shelf because it's easy for her to choose. Like what I say, she loves to choose what kind of uh, clothes she wants to wear. Even for socks itself, now this will be her school socks. Now these are all her going out socks, so she will be able to choose what kind of socks she wants to wear. Home of the IKEA wardrobe, we also have a storage bin that allow me to store her two to three years old clothes and also shoes. Now this will only be shown in much detail in the next video. Now let's go to the side. This is where I put her towels. Okay, her face towels handkerchief, wet tissue and pyjamas. Now these two, uh, especially pyjamas, allow, which, which is very important for us because we live in a double story house and we do not want to always go downstairs uh, to take her pyjamas. Uh, therefore, we put some here so it's easy for us middle of the night if we need pyjamas or even wet tissue. And at the bottom, this is where we put extra storage bin uh, in case she wants to change or we want to expand her wardrobe. So there you have it wardrobe system. Now before we end, this is actually a tip from my godfather. You know, I put a carpet here so that you know she'll feel uh, more comfortable. Now my godfather, my godfather actually gave, gave us this tip. You know, if you want your carpet to stay put in one place, put this. You know, uh, this is actually an anti-slip floor mat that I got it from Mr. DIY. So it's actually very very useful and uh, it prevents the floor mat from moving around. So this is one tip. Now, there you have it. This is my uh, our daughter's wardrobe system. I hope you enjoy this. It is achievable, it is economical, and everyone can do it. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.